What's going on out there, YouTube? Ah, welcome back to another episode of Caveman Mods. You want to see what we've been up to today? I'll give you a little sneak peek, a little something better. Up, up, up. That's a little bit all you get right there for now. Uh, stay tuned. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, you like what you see here? You know, pass it around, tell your friends. And uh, make sure you hit that little notification bell so you know when uh, I upload a new video or when I go live or... You guys will be the first ones to know. You don't want to miss out. Stick around. All right, so we'll kind of look up here and see what, a little bit of what we've been doing here. I uh, went through and labeled each and every one of these switches that I got out here so far. At least most of them. I ain't got every single one of them done, but a big majority of them. The windshield wipers. Yeah, it's a mess up here. I got a little bit of foam and stuff I had to take out of the back. Uh, we did some good progress back here today i should have got some uh, good video actually between yesterday and today still hadn't got this mess sorted out yet though uh still got to finish the dash up here this corner you know and around this bezel i need to get it all sanded down you tell it's not done yet so i'll get to that soon uh I'm trying to get the back all done up or at least the majority of it get most of the stuff in and uh try to get a space to where i can actually start storing a little bit of some of this stuff but like I said, for the most part, I got all my lights marked out here, my clearance lights. Uh, see, this one, I ain't sure what that one's for. And I got my fuel, my Jake brake selector, you know, one, two, three. My headlights. So my mirror switch here, my fuel switch, windshield wipers, ether, other windshield wipers, hotline. And I got quite a bit more. Uh, well, heck, I guess I left it in the in the house here. Hold on, guys. So I had to go into the house real quick to grab what I've been using to make my labels. Uh, this isn't these people don't or don't you know support me or in, anything in any way. But went ahead and got a uh, new label maker. I needed one, so let me get you guys flipped around here and show you what I got. The brother Drew. No, I'm just kidding. I put that sticker on there. Yeah, this thing does old English pretty cool but uh yeah you can print all different types of labels it's got let me see here templates patterns now let's select patterns I don't know if you guys can see that real well emojis bunch of cool stuff let's see escape let's go to Text patterns. Ah, let's do font. Let's do escape again. We'll go to font. Over here, if you guys can see it, over here is the style. This is the name of it. Germany font, which is the old English. You know, I can't even pronounce that. I'm not even going to try to butcher it. I'll show you real quick. It's got several. I don't know what all these are called, Sophia, Germany, okay, we're back to the old English, so I'd say about 10 or 15, but yeah, all in all, it's a pretty good little unit, uh, it's got a little, it's a sample cartridge that comes with it, but it's a pretty good size little cartridge, it takes six AAA batteries, so far so good, man, I like it, uh, it's doing what it's supposed to, go ahead and turn it off, I don't want to kill those batteries, them six AAAs, they don't get cheap. So anyways, my dad's been over here cutting my grass for me today, you know, that's, them down there strapping up a lawnmower uh yeah we've been trying to get a bunch of other stuff done you can see i got my saw horses out so i tell you i was getting some other stuff done uh at least getting some woodworking done hold on all right so yeah we've gotten some woodworking done and uh show you guys a little bit of what we've done in here uh, i'm getting turned around and sorry about that all that i wasn't trying to really show you guys up my nose but uh so we're back in here and you know, like I said, we'll uh, give you guys a little sneak peek here of what we're trying to accomplish or at least you can get an idea of what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. So you can see where I'm at in the truck. It's a flat top. I'm sitting down on a stool actually turned on its side, one of them little cheap black Walmart stools. So let me get you guys turned around here and I'll show you what's going on. So as you can see, I started putting the floor in here. Got it in on this side. Uh, 
don't worry about these gaps. You know, you don't want it in here super tight. This way doesn't matter so much, but this way over here, you don't want it so tight. This is going to be under the bunk anyways, so I don't care what it really looks like back in there. Uh, it's not the straightest cut. I did the majority of it from underneath. But, yeah, that's for the, uh, oh, the HVAC unit, whatever you want to call it. But that's where all these wires here go to. There's another set of wires over here, more wires here. There's wires everywhere. But, yeah, so we're trying to get this all figured out. But we'll go over here in this corner and show you what we're working with on this side. Boom. So there we go. There's the driver's side subwoofer enclosure. 18-inch sub. Going in that box. Six and a half cubes, or no, 6.2 cubes. Two to 32.2 hertz. 32.2, 32.3. Something like that. And then, uh, we got this one over here. So, let me uh, sit down beside this and I'll show you how, how big it is here. All right, guys. This is me sitting Indian style on the floor. Got my back straight up against this wall. You see how tall that box is compared to me. The box is four foot tall. I believe three and a half, four foot tall, something like that. It's a big old box. It's a big old subwoofer. So yeah, this, hopefully this is gonna work out pretty well. I'm gonna hop out this door over here and uh, give you guys a better view from the outside looking in. How about that? There you guys go, there's a little bit better view. Sorry, vaping a little bit, but uh, put that down for a second. There's a little better view for you guys. Now, you can see down here, which I ain't trying to take it up, but you can see down here, I got sound deadener on the floor. The entire floor's got sound deadener on it, and then it's got a layer of foam. Uh, it's like hardwood, foam for hardwood floor. Between this layer and, and the actual floor itself, the same back here. So, yeah, these boxes are pretty big, guys. You know, you can see it. it's not gonna, it's not gonna be a joke. Hopefully, it ain't gonna be no slouch. But uh, up there is gonna be my cabinet or my closet, whatever it's gonna be. Sorry for the noise. Hold on. All right, guys. Well, I made it back. Uh, sorry about that. My dad's all over here, and him cutting grass. I wasn't working out too well. I know you guys couldn't hear me that good. So, anyways, back to talking about these speakers here so yeah anyways that's where we're at uh, I don't know the sun's coming in so the glare is probably pretty horrible but still gonna paint that port over there on that box this box wasn't our best but I'm just gonna run with it man I, I ain't gonna take the time to mess with it and build another one you know I got a screw or two hanging out up here right there right there I ain't worried about it you know it is what it is I got a little June bug hanging out there. I forget what that is. Yep, June bug. Uh, we'll get that cleaned up. Anyways, we're going to put three quarter inch on the walls in here. This whole wall right here. Uh, it's going to be fairly matched up to this. Now, everything's going to be bolted to the walls with rib nuts. It's going to have a half inch plywood or birch plywood ceiling. Uh, three quarter inch on the walls all the way around the back wall. Uh, it's coming together though. This, none of this is glue down or anything just yet either so but the bunk is going to come about a foot up so it's only going to be about a foot off of the ground so let's say about right in here it's about where the base of the bunk is going to be let's say the top of the bunk is going to come to about right in here something like that but i want it as low as possible because the port needs to send air back this way bounce off this back wall and then come up through the opening right here. So essentially this entire structure is going to be one big enclosure. Uh, it's kind of going to be like a fourth order, but an outrageous numbers. It's just not, it's not going to really be considered a fourth order, I guess, because I don't think it could be. There's too much of an open space in here and it would be reverse of what it should be if it was a fourth order enclosure. 
And if you guys don't understand what I'm talking about, then I apologize, but I'm rambling on. Anyway, so yeah, we got Dynamat, or not Dynamat, but the Noiko. Up under here, you can see it. It's down. Uh, we're gonna bolt these to the floors and to the walls. Well, we ain't got nothing moving in here. And my frame for my bed is gonna bolt straight to the box, both of them. So this is about it. So you guys kind of get an idea of uh, what it's gonna look like. Like I said, this right here, you know, I'll, I'll, oh, I'm sorry. This right here, I'll put trim on this, and it's, I'm gonna join these two. There's gonna be a piece of trim that runs all the way back along that line. So then this door, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this door. Of course, I'm gonna put sound deadener on it, but I was debating on filling it with expandable foam, but it's already got this foam in it. It's gonna be difficult to try to put expandable foam in there. I don't know how I'm gonna pull that off. But it's got a lot of rattling in it. I'm gonna wrap all these in some type, some type of hose. Zip tie the ends, that way it ain't got so much rattling in it. But, uh, yeah. It just sounds like crap and it's the subwoofers are going to be in there banging and it's really going to sound like crap so we don't want that i'm going to figure out something on that i'll get it to stop rattling so much but this uh sorry about that wind you can hear how solid this is so i mean that that box is in there pretty tight the other box it's fairly tight it's not quite as tight I was trying not to make it such a tight fit because there is going to be flex in this when you're driving, shifting, hitting bumps, stuff like that. So you don't want it to be such a tight fit where everything you have to hammer into place. So, But uh, I think that's about it for this video, guys. Uh, if you would, do me a favor, comment down below, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So next time uh, I load up a video, if I go live, you guys will be notified. And thanks for supporting the channel. See you guys on the next one.